Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. It's Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. We're heading to the Atlantic coast today. What a dream. Destroy the GDI artillery emplacements that are stopping the evacuation of the weapon components and NOD forces in Brazil. Okay, last mission in Brazil, I swear. All the components for the T-bomb are done and ready for airlift. The only problem is, you guessed it, GDI. They've claimed the only nearby airport. We're gonna have to hijack some transportation, but that's a piece of cake. The real problem is GDI has some heavy firepower just next door. We can't risk them firing on Kane's T-bomb. Punch a hole in their defenses, just enough space to get the transports out of here. And hopefully us along with it. Okay. Escape! The Tiberian weapon components from the Amazon Desert Lab must be airlifted to Tempo Prime immediately. Unfortunately, GDI is using massive artillery emplacements near the coast to block the evacuation routes to our landing zones. Your job is to take out these big guns as quickly as possible. We've established a forward base near the first encampment, and our forces are awaiting your command. Two Vertigo stealth bombers have been assigned to you to help complete this mission. Okay. Vertigo bombers have arrived and are arming and refueling at the air tower. These stealth bombers each carry one large bomb designed to destroy enemy structures. Intelligence data updated. Incoming transmission. This artillery emplacement just north of your position is one of three emplacements threatening our escape route. Use your Vertigo bombers to fly in and destroy it. Okay. There's our- stealth oh, there they are. Oh, and they're stealth. That's neat. Rear anti-air turret. Ready for coordinates. Okay. Should I do this, or should I just complete. wait until we get more set up? Like, am I in a rush? It could be something where it, it looks like, obviously, the, it's going to be expanded once we take this first one out. So maybe we just shouldn't do that. Okay, as usual, I'm going to set this to aggressive for when we go in. It's actually, no. Complete. I'm not going to set them to aggressive. I'm going to try to maybe do some more capturing. We're going to grab Training. militant rocket squads. We're going to grab flame Training. tanks and scorpion We've tanks. It's expensive, but it is what it is. We've got the rockets. Again, I'm We've not going to necessarily We've got the, the rockets. Will rise. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily uh, rush to do this cuz it's not like it's timed. It doesn't appear like it's timed at least. Uh, they're not actually attacking my buildings. They're attacking stuff off the map and there's the nothing that's displayed as a uh, insufficient funds. On hold. Cancelled. As uh, something that's that's just completely time-based. I'm going to get a shadow Coming. team because I want to jump up here and get these crates. Could be free cash. Money crate. Money crate. Money crate. Yeah, that'll, they'll pay for, that'll pay for themselves the once they're shadow out. Team at your command. All right. Swiftly. The little weirdos with your wings. Why don't you come Quiet. on over here? And then I'll have these guys. The I could also ready. use them to sneak in and destroy stuff. I tried that earlier in a previous mission, it worked really well. I mean, I think I was supposed to do that, but it's very, very niche on whether that really works or not. So let's lift them off. Yeah, that was great. I got the Confessor upgrade pretty quick, uh, and I'm just going to be doing uh, Black Hands and Militant Rocket Squads. And then a couple Flame Tanks. Basically just the occasional tank to help us out against infantry. Buggies also could be pretty good. We're going to need a lot of anti-air, so I think the raider buggies could also work. It says that they're strong versus aircraft. The black hand has arrived. More black hands and just lots of missile troops to help us with anti-armor. Scorpions are also very cheap, so I'm just trying to spend my money as fast as possible. Do we have other buildings here? So you build the venoms out of this thing. Tiberium exposure detected. Ooh. Oh, black hands, no. One purpose. I see the glow. Let's get out the there. We got a real nice looking force right away. Training. Uh, don't stand in the Tiberium, please. <laughs> How about that? All right, we got insufficient funds. Uh, Vertigo bombers, just don't don't do that. Uh, when you select all, it's like, is there a select all units except aircraft? I think someone said there's like a select all infantry and a select all vehicles option, so I need to check that out because that'll be really useful. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here, and let me check some of the other upgrades here. Upgrades all militants and fanatics with Tiberian infusion, movement speed and hit points, and provides invulnerability to Tiberium radiation. That seems fantastic. Throws hallucinogenic grenades? Uh, I, that must be helpful in some fashion. Oh, it's our tech lab, okay. 
All Raider buggies with EMP coils allows buggies to fire disabling EMP burst. Laser capacitors, Scorpion tanks, Venoms with Spitfire lasers increasing attack damage. It's expensive. I could start it now. I mean, I'm not making that many Scorpions though, so I don't think that's really necessary. Uh, if anything, I should get the uh, upgraded hit points with the Tiberium infusion, because we're going to have a, a lot of those. What do we need to upgrade our liquid Tiberium cores? Oh, it's already purchased, so it must be the tech lab is required for that. Training. All right, more militant rocket squads, as you can guess. And the, the flame tanks are great because the they rockets. can burn down buildings so quick. Training. Which is just so, it's just so useful. Got the rockets. Uh, I guess we should go, bomber. do this now. Bombing run go for it. So these things are stealth, and rise. apparently they have some AA. It says Let's rear anti-air turret. Tiberium exposure detected. GDI artillery position destroyed. Okay. Reinforcements have arrived. Training. We're getting more stuff. Let's move on up here. And let's get more black hands because I mean I guess they're real good. Recon says the next two targets are well defended against air attacks. You need to take out those defenses before you roll out your bombers. Stealth unit detected. Okay. It's been expanded. God, the tanks Get out of there. Incoming transmission. This artillery emplacement to the southeast of your current position also threatens our escape route. Recon reports that the defenses are mainly anti-vehicle, but to watch for additional anti-air defenses after the destruction of the first emplacement. The last artillery emplacement is to the northeast. Recon reports show that they've called in Firehawk support to cover the air, along with orcas and additional pit bulls in an attempt to thwart our stealth capabilities. <laughs> Here, have these stealth bombers. Oh, wait, now they're heavily countered now. I must have that device, Commander. I'm sending you stealth tanks. Use them widely. Oh. Keep alert. Hit and run tanks, strong versus vehicles and aircraft. I mean... Stealth tanks are invisible until they attack and effective against aircraft and vehicles. Nod stealth tanks are available to deploy. It's really hard for me to decide how useful that is. We got a bunch more intelligence. Uh, more militant rocket squads, please, as usual. Should I just go for this? Should I go for this quickly? I saw them trying to garrison in these, and I want to get rid of that. Um, there's some pickups up there we can go and check out. Uh, here comes some enemies, so let's just move on up. New bonus objective. GDI GDI has deployed a battle base. Center Watch for its heavy GDI defenses. Base. And the Doing repair so, drone disrupts their operations for a Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so it's saying, look out for the, the battle base. But also, there's a GDI base here. I wonder if we could, like, maybe capture this for the most part. Uh, let's not lose our stealth bombers. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of saboteurs. So we can take control of this GDI base. You guys all need to back up. And then I'm going to make uh, buggies, and I'm going to make military rocket squads, and we're going to rally them up here. The Brotherhood's entrusted them. Uh, let's attack into here and kind of keep this base closed up so that we can then get our saboteurs in. Here they come. How many did I make? Five? All right, buddies, roll on in. We got to get these guys in here and eliminate all of their defenses so that we can then take over. Getting their airfield would be really nice. Getting their barracks and their construction yard would also be really nice. We just got to roll on in here. Uh, also, their, uh, their refinery would be nice also. So let's just move on in. Uh, let's take this and this and this. And this. And this. And then while we're in here, just start making tanks and APCs. Look at that. That was pretty cool, huh? So let's grab a... Wow, these are expensive. Grab a shredder turret. Uh, we can build engineers out of this base. Uh, looks like my uh, engineer didn't quite make it. Do I have any? 
saboteur, wherever you are. Where is he? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, we're going to grab another harvester, I guess, when we can afford it. GDI's position in the city threatens our operation. Destroy it. Lying and waiting. Get Predator position. rolling out. Uh, the only thing I think left to do now, I guess, is build more engineers. Training. We hear you. Cancel these. Hold. Canceled. Predator. I got your code. And what is this right here? Tech center. We already have one, ready. I guess. We could take their silos if they. I mean, how do I know if they actually are full? Because that's that would be really nice to take those if they have stuff inside of them. I got this one. Take this Working refinery on. also. Training. Just take the whole base. Just take just take the whole thing. <laughs> we got it under control, right? I got their codes. Repairing. I got all I need. Take Prepping this. Codes. I got their codes. Uh, we're gonna go for two next, I guess. All ready. I'll find a way take the airbase. I got their codes. Reporting in. Take uh, I take the other airbase. <laughs> I got their codes. Haha! -ha! You never thought New Big J Barino would play the engineer reporting in. I got their codes. Would play the game. Everything's ready. I got this one needs some more. Uh, play the capture game, I should say. Alright, take all these. Like, actually, Jay Baruna, we knew you were going to play this game. You, you've been playing it for a long time. Okay. Now, if these pay for themselves, it's going to be challenging to know. Uh, obviously, we, we hope that they'll pay for themselves in hoping that there's some Tiberium inside of them. But I feel like if there was, then we would have gotten, uh, gotten stuff out of these refineries. So this may have just not been worth it at all. Let's check. Go ahead. Okay, nothing. Um, okay. Am I with that in mind, all of you go on aggressive. Let's get to that tip zone. Now. Actually, no. Don't do that. Just destroy the buildings. We can keep the walls. Like, they built the walls. Can we build our own walls? I've never actually checked. Man, I saw my opening and I was like, go for it. <laughs> We're doing it. Get to it, boys. Fire. Unit under attack. Okay. Now, I could throw a bunch of these guys into APCs. They said that the bottom right was mostly anti-vehicle. If I recall correctly, let's also get some laser turrets to cover this side. Because there's clearly stuff here that's still garrisoned. Is that worth even clearing out? Because I don't think so. I'm going to grab another harvester. Good work, Predator. You really did it. We got a whole nother base. We could get a bunch of air forces if we really wanted to. Uh, okay, so two. We're going to have to go all the way down and around, right? So let's head down this way. I mean, if we're already there, we don't need the Vertigo Bombers. That's that's my view on it. Uh, we're going to grab flame tanks and then just more militants. Lots of militant rocket troopers. We depowered all of their uh, static defense. <laughs> so, that works pretty well. I guess you could use the stealth tanks to sneak in and clear out the anti-air turrets. I don't really know how useful that would realistically be. Again, Vertigo Bombers, please just dock again. Rocket troopers, we're going to rally you down here instead. We're zerging in. We got to get rid of this uh, this single uh, this single battle base. There we go. And they basically outright said that the enemy will become uh, stronger defending the last zone once you destroy the second one. So let's be extra careful of that. Do I have any flame tanks, or at least you guys come in here, burn this out? If you can. I lost all my other flame tanks, unfortunately, but black hands do just fine, it looks like. See, can I just walk up and destroy this? What's the point of, like, focusing on the AA when I can just walk in with this other stuff? These little buggies seem pretty neat. Yeah, no shit. The hallucinogenic grenades, I'm not entirely clear on what they do either. 
Um, I assume it forces them to... It probably reduces some of their attack power, some of the enemy attack power, but I'm not 100% clear. Man, being really diligent and actually capturing the enemy base, it's really satisfying and also really useful. Like, we have all of this extra production now. I could just make a bunch of APCs. It said that we're going to need anti-air so I can make a bunch of pit bulls. Actually, let's just exclusively make pit bulls. And we can make APCs out of the other one. We can also make rigs, which would be great. What's happening here? This seems <laughs> wrong. Um, this poor guy is trapped. Unit under attack. New bonus objective. Destroy the rig before it can reach the artillery. GDI is attempting to bolster the defenses of the northeastern emplacement with a battle base. Destroy the rig before it can reach its destination and deploy into a battle base. Let's send our bombers out for that, I guess. APC ready it's, for combat. It's already there. We will wait. Ready for action. It's Harvester APC under attack. It's combat. literally right there. I don't know. I don't know what to do this about that. GDI artillery battery must be destroyed to ensure departure from Brazil and deliver to Temple Prime. People ready for action. Uh, okay, so we're gonna change the pot key area to this. Yeah, just just go ahead and bomb away. They they don't have any. New bonus objective. Units lost. This aircraft carrier is supplying many of GDI's aircraft in this area. Destroying it will cripple their aerial operations. You know what? I'm gonna make um. Unit promoted. Bonus objective complete. Nice, they must have gotten it. I'm gonna make orcas and Training. use them to kill the aircraft carrier. Again, this is totally crippled. If you wipe this base out first, they're entirely crippled. They can do nothing. So everybody attack down here. We're burning out their emplacements. Okay, and then orcas on their way. Let's just take these guys. Open. Send them down here. There probably are anti-air batteries here, if I had to guess. But uh, Orca, ready for lift off. let's see how this goes. I'm not really sure how else to get this except with air. Orca unit. Enemy base sighted. Insufficient funds. Orca, ready for lift off. Orca, ready for lift off. No, nope, it, it has no it has no anti-air stuff. Uh, don't destroy this. I would like to get the. I would like to get the bonus objective. Obviously, we have more than enough stuff now. So let's just wait for the orcas. Command. Systems on. They may reload and automatically go back out to hit it, which would be cool. Engage. All right, back to it. Uh, and GDI doesn't have any other buildings that they can actually make units out of. I wonder if this guy's still down here shooting fire, invisible. <laughs> Orca unit. Pulse scan. I never used that. Seems way more multiplayer oriented anyway. Almost. I could probably use the bombers also. Vertigo bombers do more damage. So the Vertigo bombers seem the exact same doors. as Firehawks, except they, you can't switch them to be extremely good anti-air. I can see that Nod is going to struggle with very mobile anti-air. So when the Scrins show up, we may struggle a bit. I mean, Venoms can also attack air, but they aren't nearly as good as Firehawks, I don't think. So we're going to probably struggle uh, in that way. Almost. Go get them, boys. All right, fine. One more time. Approaching target. I guess my units just really wanted to kill this thing, so please just... I'd like to make sure we get the optional, even though I already missed a bunch of optionals in previous missions. Uh, I'm expecting a huge difficulty spike in the Nod campaign, because... Oh, uh, you know what? I, I have more knowledge. I have more game experience moving in. I'm just saying, like, I'm doing really well in these, in these two uh, Brazilian missions. Uh, so I expect that the later missions are going to be just way harder. GDI artillery position destroyed. Objective complete. Unit promoted. Mission accomplished. All this stealth-related stuff, unless there's something like a clear opening in the AI's ability to find a, to, to have an opening for stealth units, I just see this all as very multiplayer oriented, so like, I don't really see myself making stealth tanks unless there's a mission specifically oriented around using stealth tanks. This mission, there was static defense everywhere, so I really don't, and, and predators were in all stacked in that last base. So, they gave us the stealth tanks, but I don't really see how useful they would have been, and I feel like scorpions are more cost efficient, you can upgrade them to use the laser turret, even though I didn't do that. Uh, so I don't know, someone, someone sell me on, on the stealth units, 
uh, in a normal macro mission as opposed to one that's explicitly designed to use stealth stuff. Cool. Good job, Commander. Not only did you accomplish your mission, you also exposed Kane's plan. Come here, have a look. He's building a liquid Tiberium bomb. See the core spreaders here? These keep the liquid tea from corrupting the casing. It makes no sense. This was Kane's plan to win the war. Why didn't he share it with me? Well, that's not your concern, Commander. I will deal with it when the time is right. We have more pressing concerns in Australia. That's where I'm headed now. I could certainly use you there, but Kane has insisted that you stay here in Sarajevo. He should be arriving back at Temple Prime momentarily. I hope that I can trust you to keep my concerns between us. All right then. Good luck, Commander. I think we're both going to need it. Nah, Trisha. Snitches get stitches. I won't tell him. Just when we thought we were done. I don't know how the hell they knew, Commander. But GDI just shot down the transport carrying Kane's device. And he wants it recovered pronto. The whole area is crawling with GDI, so you're going to have to sneak through to the crash site. I'll contact you once you're there. Good luck, Commander. This was going to be dicey. I think it's funny how I was just talking about a stealth-oriented mission, and it sounds like this one will be exactly that. Construction is very close to being complete, with the exception of the missing components from Brazil. The detonator and the triggers are in place for a staged radiation implosion in the crystal lattices and the liquid Tiberium reservoirs. However, the blast yield still may not be big enough. And you will find another detonator. I will not lie to you, my son. GDI has gained the advantage. But as I have told Killian, victory for us will not come on the battlefield. GDI is reacting exactly as I expected, converging all their forces in Sarajevo. Your first job is to retrieve the vital weapons components lost in transit from Brazil. Then you must buy us enough time to complete construction of the weapon. This will allow us to enact phase two of my plan. Phase two! If all goes well, there may soon be a place opening up in my inner circle. Oh, I want to get in that inner circle so bad! I guess in this campaign theater, we're going to find out exactly how they slipped away after GDI annihilates their, their home base. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.